There may well be faster ways to travel the world, but there's nothing quite like the serenity of sailing the seas on a sailing ship. Today, we're taking a look at 15 of the most stunning sailing ships in the world. Number 15. Sabaris Built by Perini Navi in 2016, Sabaris is the sixth largest private sailing yacht in the world, with a length of just under 230 feet, or about 70 meters. With about 32,000 square feet or 3,000 square meters of sail that's held up on two Rondel custom-produced carbon masts, the vessel has a retractable keel and a newly designed captive winch system to enable the crew to easily handle everything. It's undoubtedly stunning from the outside, but as you'd expect from a yacht that cost around $100 million, it's equally as impressive inside, too. The interior was designed by Miami-based PH Designs. With the use of titanium throughout, it feels spacious and modern. Featuring six cabins across three decks, Sibaris can accommodate up to 12 guests, along with the owners in the main suite, and a large outdoor deck provides ample space for private dining and relaxation, with a bespoke 60-foot or 18-meter flybridge that grants unbelievable views while sailing. Of course, when it's docking or when there's not much wind, a yacht like this needs to rely on engines, and Sabaris has dual diesel engines that produce a combined 3,800 horsepower, meaning it'll be able to take to the seas in virtually any condition. Number 14. Swan 115 The manufacturer Nautor first revealed their new Swan 115 design at the Monaco Yacht Show in 2015, and it immediately turned heads as a particularly beautiful boat. The focus is on providing as pure a sailing experience as possible, something that can be seen with the uncluttered and open deck, with a large forward cockpit area and further clean decks in front of that. The apparent simplicity, which extends to the control systems too, doesn't mean that the semi-raised saloon ship lacks luxury though, as there are three guest cabins along with the large aft main cabin and separate crew accommodations for up to six crew members. Featuring a flat-top mainsail to take advantage of light winds, it needs gusts of just 12 knots to be fully powered up. Large twin rudders give ample control on handling, and it's said to be similar to a vessel that's half its size, and the teak finish seen on the deck continues throughout all of the interior spaces too. There's a timeless quality about the aesthetic of the Swan 115, something that'll appeal more to the sailing purists than those that want to show off. But if you're looking for a more traditional sailing experience in comfort, then there's surely no better ship. Number 13. Aquarius Built in the Netherlands by Royal Houseman and delivered to the owners in 2018, Aquarius is a 184-foot or 56-meter luxury sailing yacht. Designed by the highly experienced Dijkstra Naval Architects with interior spaces designed by Mark Whiteley, the superstructure and the hull are made from aluminum while the decks are covered with teak wood. With traditional hull lines on the exterior and a powerful rig, the designers were going for a modern classic aesthetic and have more than succeeded in those aims. Sat on the deck, you could imagine you're on a sailboat from the heydays of the 20th century, but when it comes to the luxury amenities on offer, there's no question it's a contemporary vessel. The smart interior offers the latest in control systems, the sails are hoisted automatically, and there's even a fully equipped gym below deck, along with the hugely spacious owner's suite, two guest cabins, and five cabins for the crew. With the ability to reach speeds of 16 knots under sail or 14 knots under engine, the Aquarius has, in theory, a range of 4,000 nautical miles before needing to refuel or restock, meaning it can be taken virtually anywhere on the planet. Number 12. Oyster 125 Oyster 125 is a model of sail ship that was created by Oyster Marina in collaboration with Dubois Design Team in 2012. Offered for a price of $21.7 million, it's 125 feet or 38 meters long and 29 feet or 8.9 meters across the beam. One of the most impressive features of the Oyster 125 was the inclusion of a flybridge, something that at the time was only used on much larger vessels, and this gives incredible 360-degree views when sailing, as well as some extra space for entertainment. There's accommodation on board for eight guests in the four cabins, as well as rooms for the six crew members, and the boat's been built to last and endure virtually any condition with a superstructure made from composite with resin that's been infused with Kevlar and carbon. You wouldn't necessarily know that from the way it looks, though, 
as the Oyster 125 has a modern white finish on the exterior, with teak paneling on the deck. When it's under sail, it feels as genuine a sailing experience as any other, and it's perhaps no surprise that as soon as it was made available for charter, it's been book solid through each season ever since. Number 11. EOS Valued at around $150 million, EOS is a seriously impressive sailing yacht that measures 304 feet or 92 meters in length. Named after the Greek goddess of dawn, the ship first launched in 2006 from Bremen in Germany and features masts that are 200 feet or 61 meters tall, a measurement that was specifically chosen as the highest they could be to still be able to pass underneath bridges around the world. The Bermuda Rig schooner is owned by media mogul Barry Diller and is close to being the biggest sailing yacht ever built. Following a fire on board, it was completely refitted in 2013 and now feels contemporary and spacious inside, with the use of neutral tones and wood throughout. The hull and superstructure are made of aluminum, with the decks made from teak wood, and inside there are enough cabins to host 16 guests and the 21 crew members that are needed to operate it. As it's in fully private hands and isn't offered for charter, few details have been released of what the interior truly looks like although there are suggestions that it features a transparent glass staircase and incredible panoramic views astern. Usually traveling the Mediterranean or Caribbean seas, Eos truly is a spectacle to see on the water. Number 10. Black Pearl Launched in 2018, the Black Pearl was originally owned by a Russian oligarch, but after his death in 2021, the current owners of the vessel remain unclear. It holds the record for being the largest private sailing yacht in the world, measuring an incredible 350 feet or 106 meters long. And it's also been designed with the latest technologies to make it as green as possible, with the designers claiming that it can cross the Atlantic using just 5.3 gallons or 20 liters of fuel. This is possible because of a variable pitch propeller that can harvest electricity while the ship's under sail, as well as heat capture technologies, solar panels, and high density batteries. The three masts are 230 feet or 70 meters tall, and by using a dyna rig system, they support six yards each, across which 15 square sails are held in a way that there are no gaps, and they essentially form a large single airfoil. It takes just six minutes for the sails to move into position as they're stored within the masts. As there's no rigging, the masts can freely turn to capture the wind at the best angle. Its maximum sailing speed is about 30 knots, which is around 35 miles or 56 kilometers per hour. But the 12 guests it can host will be in no rush while they're taking advantage of the on-deck jacuzzi, cinema, full-beam beach club, and all of the toys held within the tender garage. Number 9. Athena Constructed in 2004 by Royal Houseman for James H. Clark, one of the earliest internet entrepreneurs, Athena is classed as a clipper-bowed, three-masted, gaff-rigged schooner. Measuring 290 feet or 90 meters long, the design was based on a wooden schooner that was built for Gucci in 1927, and because of its classic appeal, has hosted countless Hollywood celebrities since it first set sail. Built with an aluminum hull and superstructure, it's able to reach a top speed of about 19 knots and has a theoretical range of up to 4,000 nautical miles while using only the onboard engines or far further when using the sails. There are five luxury cabins on board, which can accommodate up to 12 guests, along with space for the 19 crew members. It also features all of the amenities you'd expect from a modern vessel, such as a gym, a jacuzzi, and an endless supply of toys to make use of, like laser sail boats, wakeboards, kayaks, and scuba equipment. After it was refitted in 2019, the yacht's available for charter at a price of around $314,000 per week. But if you want to buy it outright, it'll set you back only $45 million, based on the owner's last attempt to sell it. Number 8. Bliss Bliss is an incredibly sporty composite sailing superyacht that was first launched in 2010 by yachting developments in New Zealand and built to a design created by Dubois. Measuring 121 feet or 36 meters long, it has a top speed of about 17 knots and can accommodate 10 guests in the three cabins along with a crew of four people. It has an undoubtedly sleek exterior with a superstructure made from fiberglass and a teak deck and it was purposefully made with a flexible interior layout that can be adjusted depending on the particular needs of any charter guests. 
Valued at a price of around $15 million, the interior is contemporary and luxurious with everything installed by Design Unlimited and a color palette of white, gray, red, and black. It certainly looks and feels like a modern take on a sailing ship as opposed to harking back to traditional designs, but it's ideal for those looking to cruise the world in style who also want to be able to open it up and cut across the waves on board something that has a true racing pedigree. Number 7. Sea Eagle 2 Built by Royal Housemen and having embarked on its first sea trials in 2020, the Sea Eagle 2 is a phenomenal 266-foot or 81-meter three-masted Panamax schooner. It was designed by the same team responsible for so many of the industry-changing vessels that have been built by the company. And while the initial idea was that this would be more of a classical yacht, the design changed partway through construction to add a more modern twist by having a faster-looking hull shape with straight lines, a long water line, and a plum bow. It looks stunning from a distance, but it almost feels like a boat of two parts when you're on board. There are places where you'll get the sensation of being on a fast sailing yacht, but there are also several large spaces such as the large saloon in the front part of the superstructure that's designed to be able to host business meetings. By catering to various needs, it's quite possible for the owner to spend most of their time on the yacht and at the end of the workday sit back and take in the 360-degree panoramic views. Creating a yacht like this proved to be a challenge because of the need for large interior spaces that limited where structural elements could be placed. While it may look just like the latest in a line of large yachts, the Sea Eagle II has, in many ways, required a completely different approach to the concept, and the results look incredible. Number 6. Maltese Falcon Built by the Italian shipbuilder Perini Navi for Tom Perkins, the American venture capitalist, the Maltese Falcon is one of the most recognizable and complex sailing yachts ever built. Measuring 289 feet or 88 meters long, the hull was first launched in 1990, but it was only fully completed in 2006. Thought to have cost in the region of $200 million, it has three 187-foot or 57-meter tall self-standing rotating carbon fiber masts that use the DynaRig system, whereby the sails are stored in the masts and can automatically unfurl themselves. Fifteen square sails combine into one without any gaps and can be set in just six minutes. They're trimmed by rotating the masts, which, without any rigging, can adapt quickly to the prevailing conditions and make the Maltese Falcon an effective upwind clipper. Now available for charter and featuring luxury amenities such as jacuzzis, a cinema, spa, gym, along with 17 crew, it's no surprise that this is one of the most photographed sailing yachts in the world, and one that's been hired by countless famous faces like Tom Hanks and Hugh Jackman. Number 5. Shenandoah of Sark Originally commissioned by one of America's richest bankers in 1902, the Shenandoah of Sark has undergone a number of refits since, but retains its charm and character to offer one of the most traditional sailing experiences possible. It's taken part in countless regattas in its time, including the transatlantic race from Tenerife to Virgin Gorda, and the masterful crew with a captain who's been on board for more than 12 years and one member for more than 27 years know just how to get the best out of this majestic vessel. The three-masted gaff rig schooner has been kept in immaculate condition for 120 years. It's the most elegant and sophisticated way you can take to the waves. Measuring 180 feet or about 55 meters, it was last refitted in 2009 and features wood-lined rooms, glass skylights, and a brass onboard library that takes you right back to the golden age of yachting and exploration. This is also a boat with a rich history and character, having been used for parties along the Côte d'Azur and the Amalfi Coast, surviving two world wars and even spending 10 years impounded by the French government as the result of a tax scandal. Now it's available for charter around the Mediterranean, and no matter if there are larger or faster yachts in the vicinity, this is the one that will surely stand out the most. Number 4. Shamrock 5 First launched in April of 1930, Shamrock 5 was the first yacht to be built in Britain that conformed to the new J-Class rule with the intention for it to race in the America's Cup. Designed by Charles Ernest Nicholson, it was mainly made from wood with mahogany planking over a steel frame and usually a hollow spruce mast. Measuring 120 feet or 36 meters long, 
Shamrock 5 did eventually make it to the America's Cup and failed to win a single race, but it was then taken on by an industrialist who turned it into a pleasure craft, and it became the only of the J-Class yachts to have never fallen into a derelict state. Now with a value of around $10 million, the Shamrock 5 has been substantially refitted to modern expectations, and now even has engines that can mean it can continue to sail even if there's a complete lack of wind. Very few details are known about the interior, since it's in private hands, but there was a time when it was completely decorated with maple wood, and it's believed that most of this still remains. It holds such an important place in sail racing history and is so well preserved that Shamrock 5 is a special and stunning vessel that will hopefully be sailing the oceans for many more years to come. Number 3. Marie with the distinct black and red hull, you may at first think Marie is a little more than a modern pirate ship, but this 180-foot or 54-meter vessel is actually one of the most joyful sailing yachts of all. It was built by Vitters in the Netherlands in 2010, based on designs by Hook Naval Design Architects. Marie has an aluminum hull, aluminum and teak superstructure, and a teak deck and it's able to accommodate up to eight passengers in the four staterooms, along with further rooms for the eight crew members. In line with the pirate theme, there are miniature cannons on deck, and an amazing open-planned interior is adorned with gold. For entertainment on board, the boat has a Steinway baby grand piano, along with a number of unique aesthetic choices, such as an Art Deco-inspired skylight that's above the oval dining table, and a private aft owner's cockpit for when they need some time away from their guests. Registered under the Cayman Islands flag and usually based in the United States, it has a top speed of 17 knots with a cruising speed of about 12 knots, which is plenty to race around the Caribbean islands in search of pristine beaches and diving spots, where this vessel looks at home in the picturesque surroundings. Number 2. Red Dragon the 170-foot or 52-meter Red Dragon is a fast cruising sloop that was built at the Alloy Yachts Yard in New Zealand and launched in 2007. It was designed by Dubois Architects with the design of both luxurious comfort and racing prowess. Built with an aluminum superstructure, the yacht has a 205-foot or 62-meter carbon fiber mast that has a fully battened in-boom furling mainsail. The sails are operated by 11 captive and 6 vertical winches, which makes them extremely easy for the crew to handle, and with a color scheme of gray and white, it has an undeniably smart and sleek appearance. Eight guests can be accommodated in the four double guest staterooms, with two additional berths just in case there are unexpected visitors, and the interior, which is designed by Wilma & Associates, is both elegant and comfortable, with blonde oak and pale fabrics throughout, which makes it feel light and spacious. The bathrooms have Spanish limestone accents, and the bedrooms have artwork sourced from around the world. But if you're on the Red Dragon, it's the exterior where you'll spend most of your time. It has several expansive sun pads, an elevated flybridge that grants incredible views around the yacht as it's sailing, and a shady upper deck that's perfect for entertaining guests and eating. When stationary, the transom opens up to reveal a large swimming platform that's perfect for diving into the water and to use some of the toys on board. But once that's all packed away, you can feel the winds gust through your hair as the sails are unleashed and the vessel reaches speeds of up to 20 knots. The Red Dragon was designed to offer the best of both worlds, speed and luxury, and it hits the mark on all points. Number 1. Sailing Yacht A Costing an estimated half a billion dollars, Sailing Yacht A is the world's most expensive private sailing yacht, and because of its size, it's one of the largest freestanding composite structures ever built. The enormous 468-foot or 143-meter-long vessel is 81 feet or 24 meters across the beam, and it has three masts, which reach a maximum height of 328 feet or about 100 meters. They're made from carbon fiber and can be individually rotated, and the tallest of them even has a room inside for access and storage. The masts are designed to be able to withstand winds of up to 90 knots and can, in theory, capture enough wind in the sails to accelerate the yacht to speeds of up to 21 knots. Of course, it's also fitted with engines so it can move when there's no wind, and under engine power alone, it has a range of about 5,300 nautical miles. 
Amazingly, it requires a crew of 54 strong to operate it, and there are cabins on board across its eight floors that can accommodate up to 20 guests in luxurious surroundings. The exterior design of the art is arguably the most unique of any vessel that's been built, and will either be the most stunning one you've seen or the ugliest. Ever since it first launched, it's turned heads at every port or place it's visited, though. But while it's probably the most recognizable sailing ship from the outside, very few people know what the inside is like. What is known is that it has a curved glass observation pod in the hull, but the other details are vague at best. This is because the ship was built and owned by a Russian oligarch who was very secretive with his affairs, to the point where anyone boarding was required to hand their phone in. Currently, though, it's unlikely you'll see this yacht anywhere other than the port in Italy, because as a result of sanctions placed on its Russian owner, it's been impounded by the Italian authorities. Watch our Waves playlist for more Top 15 videos about massive waves. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best wave videos.